Welcome back awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. This is the last of my current batch of Boss Fight Studios reviews until I get something else. Uh, this is the Dragon Acolytes. It says, Acolytes of Lord Vehemius. These Dragon Acolytes have drunk the blood of the beast they worship and become something more and less than human. Able to tolerate great pain, they'll follow any order uttered by their leader, even if death is their reward. Looks really cool and menacing with that sort of skull face, red in, red paint inside and then the yellow sort of eyes. Uh, comes with a hood we've seen before, we've seen the head before, we've seen the hands before, we've seen the weapon before, but not the color scheme. He, he just looks badass. Okay, let's open him up and see what he's like. Uh, this one, I'm not going to preserve the packaging. I showed in the other two reviews to show how it's done. It's going to open up very, in fact, let's do the back, very, very... Quickly. I haven't even said that. It might have been easier just to cut it in the first place, but let's see. Okay, so interestingly, he comes with the same black peg, spare peg, that the elven swordsman came with, but the one that didn't, the female one that didn't come with that peg. So we have our stand, we have his hood. We have this awesome looking figure. We have the spare hands. We have his mace. And on the back we have the peg, which I can't remember which peg this is for. <laughs> Been so long since I've taken one of these apart. What's this one for? It's not a neck peg, I know. So one of you guys can tell me in the comments if it hasn't been mentioned already in the uh, Elven Swordsman review. Okay, so let's have a look. He just looks badass. He just looks so menacing. But there's quite a lot of, you can see, you can see that there? There's sort of quite a lot of loose plastic on these, which you've not, I've not seen before on my uh, Boss Fight Studio figures. And some of that needs to be cut off. Now, I don't know what, if that's a production issue or whether it's just, I don't want to say it's on this particular one because Lord Vahimus didn't, ha he's the same um sculpt he didn't have this so i'm not sure why that's there well that'll do for now on that one i can finish that later okay so you can see how menacing those eyes look with the red and the yellow inside <laughs> awesome fantastic sculpt i love the armored body so great i love this sort of tunic again he just looks the part. Okay, so the spare hands are not quite mirror imaged, but almost mirror imaged. The uh, left one is slightly looser than the right one, but only by a fraction, by a small amount. So articulation. Oh, his head just popped off straight away. So it looks like there may be a slight issue with the peg length for the head. Okay, so you can look left and right, down and up. It'll pop out if you go too far up because the neck here seems a bit long. It might be an idea to shave or sand that down a little bit. Or you could take out the peg from the head and fill in just a fraction of the cavity in the uh, skull there small side to side so he's got the least articulated head of the uh, ones I've done so far shoulders he'll get about flat just over flat then his sculpt to get in the way bicep curl should be a nice 90 degrees yeah easy on his right and easy on his left very loose in his waist though so he can turn his leap you can dip okay forwards backwards there's no so he's trunk there's nothing on the waist legs not that far out forwards not great backwards won't be great kneecaps is a double knee joint that's pretty damn cool on his bend there feet we know will be good gets a nice tippy toes boop, 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 boop. he does 
me see. His flexation, his Michael Jackson, is not that great. But his feet, do his feet twist? His feet turn this way, but none that way. So out of the uh, new bunch of Boss Fashion figures that I've reviewed, he's got the... I don't say the worst, because it sounds like he's bad. He's got the least articulation, but he does look the best. Again, I'd be tempted to paint that skull, add some highlights to that. Okay, so his hood. That does add quite a lot of atmosphere to him. Looks really good. And for his mace, you know, want to pry his fingers apart a little bit. And he can hold his mace. Now the mace is quite a thick handle. He does look great. Now if I just compare him to the other two from the range. So the Elven Swordsman. And here we have the Wanderer. Who's being overbalanced by a hefty sword there. They do look fantastic. Very, very nice. Well worth picking these up. I got one of her, two of him, and two of him. Great toys. Great job by uh, Boss Fight Studios for Truth and Hex Team again. I always look forward to their releases. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.